हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज इज डेप इन लिनक्स सेफ और इज इट स्पाईवेयर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड people love to use free and open source software because of the availability of the code to everyone there are few chances of any malware or suspicious thing hiding in that particular software or system and this is why people prefer linux distribution as they are open source software systems and people opt for them because of their security flexibility and customizability you might have seen or you will see that most of the security based solutions and system are built on the linux systems and to your surprise most of the data servers in the world also work on top of linux so as linux distributions are safe and secure questions come into mind if any linux distribution is not secure and safe you might be thinking about deep in linux because there was a lot of talk about this linux based operating system being unsafe and insecure people loved this linux distribution because of the interface it offered and some people claimed that this linux distribution was the best among all in terms of the interface and look it is not a typical linux distribution in terms of the user interface some factors forced people to think that Debian Linux was unsafe and insecure. The first factor was the Chinese origin that forced people to think about Debian as spyware. And secondly, when we installed Debian Linux, it asked us to agree to the terms, which is new in the case of Linux distributions. In Windows, we have to accept the license and user agreement, but we never saw something like that in Linux distributions. So it also raised some flags for some users the biggest factor that made people alert about dipin linux was when in 2018 a youtuber found out that the 15.5 version of the dipin linux and dipin store in particular was sharing and sending the data and system information to one of the most popular and biggest chinese internet statistical analysis provider the cnzz that raised a lot of red flags for people the more alarming thing was the communication between dipin and cnzz and it was happening regardless of whether people used the dipin store or not the communication were established either when you open the dipin linux store or on system boot up as per the youtuber so it made people sure that dipin linux was spyware and not safe to use because the linux distribution was from china and it was sharing the data with an analysis service that was also from the china and the icing on the cake was the factor that all of this was happening without the user's consent this tracking was not there in dipin 15.3 and 15.4 but with 15.5 this tracking got started which looked suspicious because people started to ponder that why there was a need in the first place to be explicitly added and why people or users were not informed about this significant change but they informed the users about this practice right after installing the linux distribution and it does not only informs the user about the collection of the data but it also allows the users to opt out of it On the other hand in Debian Linux neither the users were told nor given the option to opt out of this process so these were some of the reason that forced people to think about Debian Linux as spyware but it was not long enough when we had the official response from the Debian Linux it was found out that Debian Linux store was a website on a backend this as we know is true for many other Linux apps as well So the CNZZ tracker was embedded in the Debian Linux store to collect 
different information like the resolution, browsers, user agent, etc. And according to DP Linux, this CNZZ was the same sort of service just like Google Analytics. They claim that the type of the data they collected was similar to what gets collected by the other websites using Google Analytics. They also claimed that no private information was used or got collected in the process. Well, as far as we talk about the reason behind all this, the DP Linux developer stated that the reason behind collecting the data and using the CNZZ was to improve the user experience and detect the problem the people were facing or might face. After releasing that statement, Deepin removed the CNZZ from their Deepin store. Even the YouTuber made another video confirming that the CNZZ was genuinely removed from the Deepin. Now we know that the problem was with Deepin and why people claimed it to be unsafe and after the removal of that problem, can we say it is safe? For the time being, we can say that. Deepin Linux is safe to use because we have not seen any other issue that can force people to think otherwise. But let's say if there was a CNZZ issue, there could be many more. For that, we need a lot of expertise and workforce to go through the source code of Deepin Linux. Only then, we can find out if there is any problem with Deepin Linux or not. Other than that, Deepin Linux is safe to use and not a spyware. So do not worry and enjoy using this super exciting Linux distribution. And with that, we are done with the video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.